Good day everyone, this is a tutorial about setting up your own file server using Linux CentOS version 5.11. On our previous tutorial, we have just installed CentOS server. Let's get started. On your login prompt on your CentOS server, type root, click tab, type your admin password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, press enter. Right click on your desktop, click terminal. Type IF config, press enter. As you can see, the static IP address of our server is not yet configured. Type nano space, slash etc, slash sysconfig, slash network, dash scripts, slash ifcfg dash eth0. Then press enter. As you can see our server is set to DHCP. We will change it to static. We will type additional entries to our configuration. Just follow our tutorial. Reminder, please do not modify the HW address that is already in the entry. Our entries are case sensitive and do not add any space if you are not required to. After you are finished encoding, click Ctrl O, then press Enter. Click Ctrl X to exit the text editor. Let's check our IP address. Type I of config, press Enter. As you can see it is not yet configured, so we need to restart our network adapter settings. Type Service Network Restart, press Enter. The four prompts must appear to confirm that our network configuration has restarted properly. Let's check our IP address again. Type I of config, press enter. As you can see our IP address is visible now. So we have finished configuring our IP address in our CentOS server. So now let's configure the IP address of our Windows XP client PC. For the Windows XP installation tutorial, please refer to the link in the description below. Let's continue. Right click the network icon on your lower right, then click open network connections. Then right click local area connection. Then click Properties. Click TC IP. Then click Properties. Then click Use the following IP address. On our IP address, type in 192.168.1.20. Then click Tab. The subnet mask will automatically appear. On our gateway, type in 192.168.1.1. Then click OK. Click Close. A prompt will appear that the local area connection is connected. Click Close. Click Exit. Click Start Menu, then click Run. Type CMD, press Enter. Let us check our connection from client to server. Let us ping our server. Type in ping space 192.168.1.10, then press Enter. A reply will appear. After that, we will configure our client Windows XP setting for our server to ping our client. Right click the network icon on your lower right, then click Open Network Connections. Then click on your left. Change Windows Firewall settings, we will set our firewall is turned off, then click OK. Let us check our CentOS server. Type in ping space 192.168.1.20, then press Enter. A reply will appear. It means that our connection from server to client is OK. So now we will start configuring our file server, go to system, administration, users and groups. 
We will add users to the server. We will add at least three users. Manager, finance, and marketing. Click add user. Fill in the username. Then full name. Then our default password for this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Click Add Group. Our default group name is Save More, then click OK. On the Groups tab, double click Save More. Go to Group Users tab, add the three users on the group. Then click OK. Then click Exit. Go to System, Administration, Server Settings, then click Samba. Go to Preferences, then click Song the Users. Click Add User. We will add the three users, and assign a different Windows username to shorten our login. And our default password is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then click OK. So now our three users are added. Click again Preferences. Then click Server Settings. Change the name of our workgroup as My Group, and the description is Samba sent to us. Then click OK. Then click Add Share. Add a directory or folder in each user. The folder is assigned only each user. The other users must not open the folder on which it is not authorized to. After that go to Terminal. Type in Service SMB Restart for the Samba server to restart and apply the new settings. Then type CHK Config SMB on, so that the Samba server will automatically start whenever you restart your server. Then type Test Parm. This is to check and test our parameters if it is configured properly. So now we will add some lacking parameters on our configuration. Let's use a text editor to modify our file. Type nano space slash etc slash samba slash smb dot conf then press enter. Click the page down and then as you can see on the screen edit the following
After you are finished encoding, click Ctrl O, then press Enter. Click Ctrl X to exit the text editor. Type again test part. This is to check our encoded parameters if it is configured properly. Now to check our SC Linux configuration, type in nano slash etc slash sysconfig slash SC Linux, then press enter. Check your SE Linux, it must be disabled so that the server can communicate to its client. After you are finished encoding, click Ctrl O, then press Enter. Click Ctrl X, to exit the text editor. Let's go back to our Windows XP, and change our workgroup name. Right click Computer, then click Properties. Click Computer Name tab, click Change, change the name to My Group. Then click OK. A prompt will appear to restart your computer. Click Restart now. Click Yes. We will just fast forward the restart process. Now let's check our file server, go to my computer, click on my network places. Then click workgroup computers. Double click our server sent to us. It requires us to change our computer name. So for now we will change our computer name, then restart. Right click computer, then click properties. Click computer name tab, click change. Then click OK. A prompt will appear to restart your computer. Click Restart now. Click Yes. We will again just fast forward the restart process. Go to my computer. Click on my network places. Then click Workgroup Computers. Click our server sent to us. A prompt will appear. Type our Windows username. Then type our default password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then click OK. We can open our own folder. But we can view the folder of others. But we cannot open their folder. Thoughts how file server works. So now we will log off. Log in again another user to test our file server. Go to my computer. Click on my network places. Then click workgroup computers. Click our server sent to us. A prompt will appear. Type our Windows username. Then type our default password, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then click OK. So now we will log off, log in again another user to test our file server. Go to my computer, click on my network places. Then click Workgroup Computers. Click our server sent to us. A prompt will appear. Type our Windows username. Then type our default password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then click OK. Congratulations. You have created your own file server. And do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.